Take two, part two of having an action plan. Okay, I had made this and for some reason it didn't save, so still having technical issues, but please, any IT people that want to help me, please don't hesitate. All right, part two, plan of action. The very first thing you do is you have to look at it kind of as this, kind of like a pyramid. And up here at the top is your business plan. And then in the middle is your marketing plan. And then down below is your to-do list. Now we've talked about to-do lists and how important those are. But depending on the size of your business and how your business is structured, you might have gotten a loan. And when you got a loan, they said, hey, you need a business plan. If you don't have a business plan, <laughs> stop what you're doing and uh, get a business plan in place because that is so important, folks. You won't look at it every day, but it's your base point. It's saying, hey, this is what my goals and service, you know, this is what my goals are. These are what our objectives are. This is, you know, what our products and services are. This is who our competition is. This is our demographic. This is what we specialize in. And it keeps you focused on the main thing. And staying focused on the main thing is critical because it's so easy to get off on these other tangents. And how can you have a plan, right? Think about it. These koi. I bought two koi for $3.49 and this thing cost me over a thousand bucks to get them a home. Because they're going to live 50 years. So, can you afford to make minor mistakes in your business that could cost you thousands and thousands of dollars? I don't think so. Uh, if you can and you've got the money tree shaking around, hey baby, I want to know your address because I want to come grab some money. Okay? Or you need to call me and then I'll invest it. Again, this is not a solicitation of sales. Okay, you need to ask yourself three questions before starting anything. Number one, does this help me accomplish my business plan? Number two, is it consistent with my marketing? Is it consistent in what I do and what I say? Number three, does it make me money? Will it make me money? Um, or an exchange of value, okay? Understand, exchange of value might necess not necessarily mean dollars, but it could equate to value. Example. Let's give an example here. Number one, only one out of five restaurants make it. Let me repeat myself to any of those in the restaurant business or fixing to go into the restaurant business. Only one out of five actually make it. Can you afford to lose hundreds and thousands of dollars? If you can afford to lose it at the crap table in Las Vegas, then open a restaurant. If you can't, you need to call me before opening so you know what to do. Because if you're not prepared, it's going to smack you and smack you hard. Okay? So, please, if you're in the restaurant business before opening and you've never done this before, you need to call me or call someone that knows what to do. All right, so you're asking yourself, does this fit in my business plan? Does this fit in my marketing strategy? Is it on my to-do list? And am I going to make money? Okay, now, your business plan. You should have already had that in place. If you don't, you need to stop. Just stop everything and get that done. And you'd be like, well, Marcy, how am I supposed to get a business plan? Well, number one, it doesn't have to be slick. Let me just tell you, it doesn't have to be slick. You can go down to the Small Business Administration, and they'll help you and give you a form and everything, and you fill it out. Now, is it going to take you all day, maybe a week? Yes. But if you don't do it, 
shame on you. You should have done it. The number two thing is your marketing. All your marketing has to be consistent. It has to make sense. It needs to... Um, be congruent. For instance, my business card, my picture on my business card matches the picture on my LinkedIn. My LinkedIn picture matches what's on my Facebook and my YouTube channel. Why? Consistency. Um, you need to be consistent in your marketing. What you're trying to do, for instance, me doing YouTube is a form of marketing. What am I trying to accomplish? Education. I'm bringing you education. Now, this leads to step three. Does this tie into making me some money or an exchange of value? Yes. Yes, it does. Let me explain to you what that means. Am I making money off of YouTube? No. Is there a possibility that I could? Yes. You know, if I drove enough traffic, absolutely. People are doing it all the time on YouTube, making money. Because they, they have sponsors and get likes and all of that, and they make money. Is that what I'm about? No. I'm about education. So the reason I'm doing YouTube is to bring education to you in a form of marketing. Therefore, saying, hey you may be interested in one of my other classes that the curriculum is designed and it's put in place and you actually have something tangent that you can have and hold. Right now, I'm creating the value by having a relationship with you. It's kind of like joining the chamber. The chamber of commerce is a form of marketing. It's an exchange of value. Am I going to make money by joining the chamber? Not necessarily. But let me give you an example. When I started m, &M Business Solutions, I, started, I, I joined the chamber in Marble Falls, Texas. My very first client came from that chamber member, the chamber event that I attended, my very first one. Now, what makes this so important is it was my very first check that I got, and I have it framed, it was $64, by the way. I was so happy. Now, the thing is, four years later, that same client called me and asked if I would like to take over their client. Now, I, I was, and I'm so thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me and trusting me enough to take on your client. I appreciate that. Very much so. I'm forever grateful. Now, the example I'm trying to make is, is I brought value to her. But it started from the chamber. Now, my chamber membership, been in the chamber four or five years now. This client that I took over has paid for all of those memberships over the years. Did the chamber make me money? Mm, not necessarily. Not right away. Is it beneficial as a marketing tool? Absolutely. You have to ask yourself, is your marketing plan doing what it's supposed to? Your plan of action. So, eccentric value, like YouTube, for instance. When I started YouTube, I just was trying to learn how to give my classes to be able to give it in front of the camera because I will be doing classes online at and I believe I figured out which company I'm going to use is Anytime Minutes Meetings. I don't know why I say minutes. Anytime Meetings. And this is where people will log in and I'll actually be you know, talking to them like I'm talking to you, but then also I'll have all my PowerPoints and all of that, and they will log in and that. And so, but this is one way to let people know that, hey, I'm actually doing training. I'm bringing value to clients that I already have. 
I am boosting up my SEOs on my website. I am having more presence now because of a YouTube channel. So it's brought me a lot of value with not actual dollars. So as I continue and to get better, who's to say? Some people's business plan is designed based just on online from Facebook to um, YouTube. And that's their whole business. Their whole world is wrapped up in just those two components or just one. That's not my life. My life is where I'm actually kneecap to kneecap training on a daily basis with folks. But I wanted to branch out because my business plan says education, educate. And marketing says, hey, how are we going to do that consistently? YouTube, okay, let's add that component in here and use it. Because I'm trying to get to more people versus just a niche. Hope this was helpful to you. Get your action plan. If you don't have your business plan, don't panic. Call your small business administration. They will help you. Just say that's the first thing they'll make you do is actually have and put together your action plan. But the, if you're not utilizing that resource, oh my, you need to. Okay, take care. Bye-bye and uh, have a good weekend.